Welcome back to Dick Wise's Colts Connected franchise, and we are in week 12 going up against the Cardinals. Here's a look at the players of the week for their respective conferences in week 11. And as we look into the scores of week 11, we actually find out that Carolina finally took their first loss to New England Patriots. Here we pretty much just stormed over the Tennessee Titans. And the number one defense in us are going up against the number 22 offense. Should be fun. Starting this game off with second and nine, I'm gonna tell you guys now, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of defense in this game. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is for you. As B Dub picks up a sack, which I believe to be his 14th of the year. That guy looks like he might be getting defensive rookie of the year. Who knows? But he's making a strong, strong case. So now it's the Colts' turn to see what they can do on offense, and they go on ahead and get into the trade Father Trent Richardson, and he picks up a gain of six. So he has two carries for six yards. That means that we skipped ahead a little bit. Now Vince Young is dropping back, and he gets mauled. I don't know how he didn't see that pass rush, but he sure as heck didn't. So there we go. First and ten for the Cardinals. Palmer's looking, and he ooh, almost gets intercepted. Second and 15. Mendenhall, wow. Gets absolutely destroyed. Destroyed by LeBron Landry. Robert Mathis runs and picks that thing up and scores. I must say it again. We have the hardest hitting safeties in the league with LeBron Landry and Antoine Bethea. When they hit somebody, they end up feeling it. Palmer once again looking back and he overthrows his receiver by a mile. Roberts is pretty fast, but I guess he wasn't fast enough on that one. Palmer looking and once again he runs into a huge pass rush. Their coach obviously isn't a fan of the pass rush. So third and 18 and they almost pick it up. But don't get enough yards. They needed 18. They got 16. Now we're going to go on ahead and beat the trade fighter. Trade fighter finding holes. Unlike his real life counterpart. Okay. We'll deal with that. Second and seven. The trade fighter gets another first down. So we're picking and grinding. We're picking and grinding. We grind our way down the field. And we hit Jerry Cook who doesn't keep his feet in bounds. Vince Young should have seen him a lot earlier. And that would have been a touchdown. So here we go. First and goal. We run that play action fake. And get sacked by Darrell Washington. Second and goal. It's pretty long to go. And look at the pass rush. Jesus line. Can we get some blocks out here? We come away with only three points out of that drive. Should have been more. 
Shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't happen. Palmer looking. He finds... <laughs> he finds Mr. Butler who's going to scamper his way into the end zone and showboat at the same time. Larry Fitzgerald has a problem with that. But of course, it's our defense and we have no problem with that whatsoever. So that's two. Count them, two defensive touchdowns. So now they go on ahead to Mendenthal again and booyah! The Ron Landry lays him out. Man, these safeties hit hard. And yes, I did put the big hit attribute on them because I just love it when they level up. Just like that, Antoine, but they take him out of his misery and out of the game. So now it's T.Y. Hilton's turn on offense, and he picks up a nice game for the first down. Play action fake. Vince Young is looking. He had time, but no one got open in his peripheral vision, and he got sacked. Third and 18 in an insta sack. Jesus, where is the line out here? This is crazy. How many sacks and how many pressures we're seeing on both sides of the ball. So now they're going ahead and feed Taylor because but they took out one. So now Bethea is looking to take out another one. Tom is looking. He's looking and he gets sacked by B-Dub for his 15th sack of the year. 15. Count him. This guy is going nuts. So now they're running the ball and Freeman lays him out in the backfield and that takes them off the field. They're punting. Why is it showing special teams on Xbox One? What is going on here? T.Y. Hilton breaks a tackle. He has blocks. He breaks another tackle. All right, he did too much. He did too much, and therefore, he couldn't get to the end. That happens. Vince Young dropping back. He's surveying the field. He finds Jared Cook, who gets into the end zone. But wait, there's a flag on the team. There's a flag on the field, and they're showing Trent Richardson. And the Arizona Cardinals are celebrating. Holding on the offense, Trent Richardson. I hate you. Whatever. So here we go. Second and 20. We're looking. We're going back to the same play. Jared Cook is open, but Vince Young doesn't have the arm strength. And Matheo, Matheo. Tomato, tomato, gets the interception. So now it's Carson Palmer's turn. Just before the half, it's 35 seconds left. They call a timeout. Palmer looking. He sees the flash and he goes to Roberts and he gets cleaned up by Vontae Davis, Mr. AKA. 12 seconds left. Palmer fumbles as a strip sack. Franklin picks it up. He's going to run that thing, but he's already tired. He pitches it. He pitches it to Howell. Howell is about to score before the half. Three. 2-1, and he scores just before the half expires. Three, count them, three defensive touchdowns for the Colts. This is absolutely crazy. And Chuck Pagano's hold it. In the books, so that's going to do it for the first half. Colts are up here in this one. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? I got a chance to quickly speak with Carson Palmer during halftime. So here we are to start the second half. First and 10 and wow. Pretty close to throwing an interception there, Mr. Young. But we hit. I'd be so close to calling that man Optimus most, but I can't call him that. My main Reggie Wayne across the middle. Finds a laser right to his face and he catches it. Vince Young running that read option for the first time in a while. And man, did you see that pancake block down the field? I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But I don't love the sack. I don't know if we need the players to get open or we need it blocking on that one, but good, good. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! Why do y'all have so many sacks? Oh, man. First and 10 for the Cardinals. Palmer's looking and he gets clinked up by Franklin for his second sack of the game. All I see is sacks, fumbles, interceptions, and whatnot. This is crazy. Third and 17. Palmer's looking. He finds a screen. He breaks a tackle. He gets up the sideline. 
and Mr. Howard, R.I.P., takes him out, stops him before he gets the first down. Trent Richardson, the trade fighter. 10 carries, 49 yards, getting us the first down. Then Chi-Hung gets sacked on the very next play and fumbles. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. They're getting coverage sacks. They're getting beaten them up, beating up the defensive line sacks, and good God, they finally get their first touchdown. They're also getting insta sacks. This is just looking all kinds of bad for our offensive line. Roberts gets into the end zone. Chuck Pagano. Chuck Pagano doesn't look too happy. They're going for two. They're looking. They're looking. And B Dub breaks everybody and just gets through there for a sack and a fumble. This man's a monster. An absolute monster. So there we go. We're running that triple option. And now this time we give it to Hughes up the middle. Play action. Big Kobe Fleener catches it inbounds. Really close. Here we go. First and 10. Well, we step forward. Second and 13. We hit him Moss, and he's running the wrong way. Third and four now. And Jung's looking. We throw a screen thinking that we could finally get something because they send so much pressure, but we get nothing out of it. Interception. LeBron Landry on second and long, getting us our fourth. Fourth defensive touchdown. Our fourth defensive touchdown, folks. How often do you see that? All defense, all day, and absolutely nothing from the offense. So Palmer's looking, he's surveying the field, and what the hell happened to the ball? Did y'all see the ball? Let me show you again. You guys see this. Look at this. Look at the ball. 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 Drop straight down. And then it just shoots up into the air like a cannon. I'm going to make sure that you guys, I'm going to keep zooming. Let's find the ball. Where's the ball? The ball's right there. Hey, the, the ball just, just went into orbit. It went into orbit. So Palmer's looking and he gets sacked and now he's hurt. He's tired of getting beat up. He can't take it no more. So now Lidney. Lidney's looking. Now fourth and long. He finds King who stiff arms a guy. Gets the first down. Jumps over another. And Howell finally brings him down. Wow. And all they get out of that is a field goal. Sorry. Deal with it. Be all right. So here we go. Vince Young is looking. He's scampering the field. And they're into the red zone. Yeah. We get a whole lot. Well, not really because they went for an onside kick that we recovered. Jared Cook on the angle route. Gets us the second and goal. Five-yard line. Second and goal. Vince Young's looking. He's surveying the field. He got a guy. T.Y. Hill and open. And Matthew, Matteo, tomato, tomato, gets another interception in the end zone. Larry Fitzgerald breaking tackles, finally gets taken down. First and goal for the Cardinals. Lidney's looking. He's looking. He finds Taylor. Oh, he breaks the tackle, but Vontae is there to fold him like a flapjack. Jesus Christ out here. So now we hit Floyd. Floyd, not Floyd, because we're the Colts, but they find Floyd. Now they find Fitzgerald up the sideline, and my controller actually died. Yes, Xbox One controllers suck because they don't tell you when the battery's low. You just, you just got to know, I guess. They don't give you any indication whatsoever. And they score. Yeah, that happened. Chuck Pagano doesn't look happy. Doesn't look sad either. He just doesn't care. But their coach sells it like a boss. So there they go. They're going for two. To make it a 14-point game, and LeRon Landry runs right through their line and gets the sack. Wow. That right there ends the game. My voice is hurting. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me ask you guys a question. What's the best defensive game that you've had on Madden, whether it be online, offline? Look at this guy. I know he forced two fumbles, he had an interception, a touchdown. LeBron Landry was all over the place and he deserves to be player of the game. But what was your best type of defense? Whether it be online, offline, against the best friend or anything like that, I need to know. And yes, it has to be on all Madden, at least if you're playing offline. This right here was terrible game by the offense. Absolutely dreadful, but absolutely lovely on defense. So if that's your type of game, I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed it. Go on ahead, leave a like, support the series, 
and I'll see you in the next video. What's up next? We're going to be going back up against the division rival Tennessee Titans. Looks like it'll be fun. Yeah. Bye.